Hello, everybody. This is bringing you back for another episode of Jurassic World Evolution Mod Showcase. And yes, I know it's been a while since the last one. You know, maybe not so much. But we have five pretties here, including another Dinosaur King hybrid. <laughs> You're going to like that one. Ooh, it's a lot of, lot of, lot of explaining to do with this one. But let's not diddy dally. Let's get on with it. Okay, up first we shall do Lillian Sturness. And yes, I also put DK on the end because when I, when I eventually release these mods, which you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it soon because I'm not working on anything else at the minute. And um, I've kind of after the, after this whole after this whole Stego Duran buddy fiasco, I've I've taken a break from mod making just for the time being, just for the time being. <laughs> and I needed it after making this thing. But anyway. Let's release Lillian Sterners first. So yeah, I don't I don't have a clue how to post mods on the Nexus, so I'll need help with that. Yum. Yes, this is the Dinosaur King Lillian Sterners, and actually looking at it, I think I mentioned in a previous video how I f felt like this model might be a little bit too big now. Like I was still going to use the Hararosaurus model, but. I wish I had used the um wish I had made the model smaller, not bigger. But oh well, that's Lillian Sturness disappearing into the forest and yeah, I, I still got the remnants of the um Battle Royale video I did ages ago. Alright, next up we shall do Kentrosaurus. Yes, we have a Kentrosaurus into the park, and it's raining. Lovely. And fun fact about this, this was actually the very last mod that I made before I lost all my mods. But I was lucky enough to get this bad boy back. And yeah, it did a really good job on Kentrosaurus. I like how it I like how the um orange looks in particular, like the colour on the spikes. Um the red could be a little bit brighter, but you know, if I had made it Oh wait, is that supposed to be there? I think that's supposed to be there. If I made it too bright, then we'd be in a situation where... Wait, what are you squaring off against? Where the um, red would be oversaturated or a different colour. Now, what are you fighting there? Off? What are you squaring off against? Actually, yeah, I forgot to talk about this guy that much. Too m enough. Oh. Yeah, I did edit the model, make it look, look a little bit chunkier and bigger. Um, I kind of messed up the hands. But hopefully I can fix that. And yes, there's also now a tutorial about rig editing. So I can't wait to watch that. And hopefully I'll be able to do rig editing. Because from what I've seen, it looks pretty complex. I think that tutorial is probably going to save me a lot of hard work and trouble. Well, what are you squaring off against? Well, you can't fight him. No matter how much you want to, you can't fight him. Okay, we'll do, we'll do Stegosaurus next. Because... The Gojirosaurus is a new species. Alright, let's do Stegosaurus. Yes, the plated lizard itself, the Stegosaurus. And I'm sure you all remember that LP Cosy did his Stegosaurus doing one of his Battle Royale videos, and yes, I did take a bit of, um, I did use that as basically a reference, and I made it in my own way. So yeah, not much to say here, Stegosaurus. Okay, now for number four, the Gojirasaurus. Yes, and here's the reason why I feel like Lillian Sturness was too big, because this Gojirasaurus was is slightly bigger than Lillian Sturness in the arcade game. But again, like with Lillian Sturness, I made the Hararosaurus model, which this is based off, slightly bigger. But I made the uh Yeah, you can see the difference here. You could probably tell that Lillian Sturness is slightly bigger than Gojirasaurus. Actually, I'll do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> 
Actually, let's still in capture mode, because, well, these two are going to fight, so we might as well see it. Rotate! No, 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 ever, no, there. Um, I can't remember which one I made strong. I think Gojurasaurus is stronger. Oh, yeah, definitely. And Lillian Sternus is dead. We'll go on, finish him off. Yum. Yum. Well, that's Lillian Sternus dead and buried. Yes, as you can see here, uh, the eyes look a bit weird. The spikes, I did a pretty good job on the spikes. You know, the, the, Goju the spikes on the Gojurasaurus... Other than the ones on the neck and the head, aren't as pronounced as some of the other species, like like the Allosaurus, the Sorophaganax. Oh, 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 the car died. Yeah, you have an attack of 70 to 24. Oh, yeah, yeah, Gojurasaurus is way better. I, I need to balance the stats out, because I don't want uh, Gojurasaurus to be too powerful. Okay, now for the one you've been waiting for. The next hybrid in the Dinosaur King franchise, ladies and gentlemen, the Stegojira. <laughs> oh, would have been a better camera view if we saw the face. Right, now for the explanation time. Because this thing was an absolute nightmare to make. One reason why. These plates, I mean, they look just like the the way they moved the, the whole weight textures was absolutely horrific to do. But I do feel like I've got it to the best I can get it. I'm sure if someone else can do a better job, I'm sure someone else will do a, could do a better job than me. And when I do release this bad boy into the wild, you're more than welcome to try. But yes, this is the Stegojira, a hybrid comprised of Stegosaurus and Gojurasaurus. How dare you try and manipulate dinosaur DNA behind my back? I did not approve this! It's immoral! Hmm. We're talking about the history of evolution! There should never be human intervention! Why not? As you can see by the head here, I definitely went for a more Gojurasaurus-like look. But I gave it the Stegosaurus beak. And I elongated the teeth because, you know, why in the hell not? And it has the crest here of the Gojurasaurus. And obviously the plates of the Stegosaurus. I went for a more simplistic design on this guy. Because I wanted it to be like a look like a relatively fast dinosaur. And it having too many plates, it wouldn't look too fast. And I also added a Phagomizer to the, to the tail as well. Because, you know, it would have one. And yeah, you can see, especially by this plate here, that I had to edit a lot of the vertex points so it kind of messed up the texture on this plate so yeah i will look it i will fix that before i release this guy into the wild you know it does look a little bit weird but you know it's the best i could do and as i said i'm sure if someone with a lot more know-how uh, that blender than me would do a better job i would i would i would be happy for them to help yes the stego jura and i also made it nice and thick and broady to inherit that trait from the stegosaurus as well so yeah, oh, the overall model I think I, I did a good job on is just the bloody plates that's been the big issue for me. Like, remove the plates and this guy would look pretty good. And well, teeth aren't my specialty because I'm not a dentist. So yeah, that's why the teeth look... Well, it's, it's a hybrid, it's supposed to look weird and wacky, but I went for a simplistic design. I didn't want to overcomplex it. And I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. I mean, obviously, as I said... We'll work on the plates, but I, after doing this bad boy, I just wanted to take a break. Yes, the Stegojura, a consistence of Stegosaurus and Gojurasaurus. Um, not much else to do now, is there? Okay, let's have a look. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, the, the side chain, you killed Indoraptor. What a result. That, that kind of changes my whole battle royale. So apparently, according to the Battle Royale, a Cychania has won because it has a kill. And actually, let's double check. Yeah, I think Cychania has won. Well, yeah, actually, maybe Ankylosaurus got a kill. Oh, well, you can't fight him because he's way too big. <laughs> he could, like, destroy you with his tail in one hit. Yeah, I think, I think the Cychania has actually just won. Ooh, hang on, here we go. 
Ooh, a fight between Stegojira and Kendrasaurus. Of course, with Stegojira being a fusion of Earth and Wind, it's going to have fusion moves. Hmm. Um, okay. I, I'm, just, I'm just thinking of moves in my head. Okay, Biting Spikes. It could be Biting Spikes. Um, Tornado Bash, because I know that's actu an actual fusion move in the um, DS game. And it can have... Oh, I didn't get to kill it! Blech. Oh, oh my god, that tail completely fell apart. Well, the Kentrosaur has died. Uh, what other moves can it have? Okay, so we got... Um... Oh, no, Spike Storm, which could be rock. Um, oh, yes, yes. You can see what I mean by the plates. They still need work. And it's like, ugh. What? I just want it to be good. Yeah, the, um, we can have... I've, I've lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, Spike Storm, Tornado Bash, and... Um, what else can we have? What can we have for scissors? I don't know. Ninja spines or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, just making it up. But, what happens if we pit up Stegojira with Mega Faginat? Oh, here comes the first ever Dinosaur King hybrid, the Mega Faganax. Okay, which hybrid do you like more, Mega Faganax or Stegojira? And yes, I still haven't fixed the quells, forgive me. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, leave it in the comments down below. Which hybrid do you prefer more, Mega Faganax or Stegojira? And well, I, I, I have ideas on what I want for a next for the next hybrid, but that's gonna, as I said, that's gonna be a while yet, because. Taking a slight break from doing mods because the Stego Stego Jira pushed me over the edge. Um, there's not much else to explain. Okay, we'll we'll get in another. Yeah, we're getting some mini little runts for the uh, Gojirasaurus and the Sternus to fight. Ooh, ooh, the fight between Stego Jira and Cychania. And wow, Stego Jira is like tiny compared to Cychania. I mean, the interesting thing with Stegojira, I should also mention, is that I, what animation set I was going to use on it. I can't, dude. You can't lose to this guy. I know I made Cychania really good, but you're better. And I was, it was between Metric Amphosaurus, which I actually went with in the, at the end. Oh my god, the fingers are so bad. Oh, the Mega Faganax is coming over. Eizuma. Okay, yeah, so we have Metrocamphosaurus, Ceratosaurus, and Allosaurus, and even Acrocamphosaurus were the four I was gonna go with. Uh, I thought Acrocamphosaurus model would be way too big, so I've ruled that out. Again, Allosaurus, I think, would have been too big. So it was ultimately between Ceratosaurus and Metric Amphosaurus. And a wild card in there, I was going to use the Indoraptor model as well. But I thought, ooh, that could be interesting because it would inherit the bipedalness of the Stego Stegosaurus. I thought, ooh, could Indoraptor work? But I thought Indoraptor was a little bit too skinny. And I wanted it to be like a thick boy. Ah, here we go. Oh, but wait, what? You cr- it only just came out! Oh, there is Deinonychus. Okay, I, I think I need to nerf Gojirasaurus. I think it's a way too powerful. Like, what are you, 1725? Wait, so Ulti Rhinus should win, actually, because it's got better stats. Come on, Ulti Rhinus. Show what you got. I st still haven't fixed the bloody eye. Defense burst okay. Oh, he seems like Raw's through him. Oh, oh, the ulti rhinos wanted some more. Oh, oh, well, I think the Stegosaurus is about to die. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. He gets a hit on Mega Faganax. Hey, look. This is the creature that inspired you. 
Um, well, I think Mega Faganax is probably going to win. Ooh, Deinonychus and Fukuiraptor. Yeah, it's been ages since we've seen Deinonychus in a mod showcase. It's good to see you again, buddy. <laughs> Look at them doing the shuffle. Like, eh, eh. Uh, what stats do you have, my friend? 65 attack and 10 defense. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like Deinonychus is quite the beast. And uh, poor Lillian Sterner stands in zero chance against Gojirasaurus. And yeah, Stegosaurus biting the big one against Mega Faganax. But it did get a hit on it. No match for that Magma Storm. Oh, hang on. I think Stegosaurus having a fight with the Dimetrodon. Yeah, I did, I did a really good job on the size for Stegosaurus. I didn't want it to be too big. I want it to be kind of small, you know, so it has like that wind dinosaur aspect thing. Actually, what stats did I give you? I can't remember. Oh yeah, 90 attack and 40 defense. I think that's on par with Mega Raptor, which is in inter interesting, because uh, even though it's a hype, I didn't want to make it too powerful and wow. Wow, I got creamed by the chunk for the um, Dimetrodon. Well, it's a chunking of sorts, but it's posing as Dimetrodon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot I got all these guys. Yeah, it's because um, Mr. Trodon finally released his mod. Well, his mod pack, and it includes a Mega Raptor. And I, I don't want to showcase this, because this looks awesome. I normally wouldn't showcase other people's mods, but because this is a Mega Raptor, I feel like it deserves a showcase. Look at that, that looks awesome. Like, I, I, I love that. I mean, it's he used the Allosaurus model, which is quite interesting actually, because I, I didn't I I didn't think I thought Allosaurus was too when I made my Mega Raptor, I thought the Allosaurus model was gonna be it was a bit too big. But looking at it, it does work, and well, he can clearly do quills better than I can. I mean look at that, that looks awesome. I, I, I wish he had done a video of this, of him time lapsing this guy, so. Wait, what's happened to him? Yeah, I wish he did a video time lapsing this guy, because I. I really wish I knew how he did the quills. Oh, right into the car. Because they're really good. And actually, the quills do look like the Dinosaur King quills as well. The, the one that the Dinosaur King Mega Raptor has. But yeah, that, that looks really good. Like, because I love Mega Raptor so much, I love that model. Oh, well, Deinonychus is dead, and surprise, surprise, Gojurasaurus gets the kill, because I made Gojurasaurus overpowered. Oh, he's the Alpha Gojurasaurus. And he's going to get the slap. The Ulti Rhinus here, showing him who's boss. What are your stats? 95 to 40, so it's the same... It's better than Stegodura. Now, what are my Mega Raptor have? 95 to 40. 95 to 35. So his is actually stronger than mine, which makes sense because his is a lot bigger than mine. Actually, sorry, let's, let's release my Mega Raptor and compare the two. And he was also considerate enough to change the name, well, to have a different name to mine so I can use both. Oh. Um. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Oh my god, that's horrific. He, no wonder he's dying. Look at the state of him. He looks like he's had a night out in the toon. I don't know why that came in my head. Yeah, I couldn't be bothered to add Quill, so I just did a sp spine at the back. And actually, actually, I did a pretty good job on my Quills, in fairness. Yeah, my Mega Raptor looks cool, but like, if you want a paleo accurate one, Trodon, get Trodons, because mine is not paleo accurate. Far from. Wait, what? Stegodura is gonna die to Cyclonia? Boah! Right in the jaw. Blip. Well, Stegodura is dead. 
Wow, I made this guy. Yeah, 60-60. So that's 60-60, 94. Wow. Wow, Sidechainia is really strong. Yum. Oh, oh, well, I think I think Fukui Raptor's going to die. Or is it? Oh my god, he's going to win. He's won. The Gojirasaurus is dead. There's just a dead Danonicus there. Oh, oh, Megaraptor. The Trodon's Megaraptor is killed the um, Demetrodon. Ah, oh, that looks awesome. I love it. Like, appar apparently, it's based off something. Um, another Megaraptor off um, another film, TV series thingy. Um, okay, since pretty much all the mo all the dinosaurs I wanted to showcase in this video are dead, I'm going to end this session, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new and subscribe, you're welcome to do so. And this is Trader Gamer signing out.